Hello everyone and welcome back to another my tutorial. So I'm going to be showing you how to create a simple bell. Um, so as you can see I just typed in bell into Google Images and I found this one right here and I saved it. I will link this in the um, description if you can't find the specific one. But anyways, let's head back into Maya after you have saved that. And I'm going to go into my front view right here. I go to view, image plane, import image. Go to wherever I have saved mine. It was just called bell. So I'm just going to open that, and it's a bit small, and I want this to be a little bit bigger. I'm going to just press R, I'm going to scale it up a little bit just like that, and I'm going to drag it back. There we go. Okay, so now let's head into our front view. I'm going to disable the grid, so it's a little easier to see stuff, and I did one thing wrong. You want this to be on that side. Okay, so now it's not blocking any of this and we can start modeling so I'm also going to turn on x-ray mode right here so that way I can see what's behind mine and I'm just gonna let's see is this exactly in the middle this thing is not so I'm gonna just put the translate for that to zero okay so now we can start by I'm gonna select these bottom faces or vertices really and just extrude those out to like above above this little like if I zoom out above that little thing right here as you can see alright so now with that done I'm going to select these top vertices and then just scale those out to about there then I'm going to select the faces I'm just going to drag select like that and then shift select like that what that does just selects the top so for example I can do four and as you can see I just have those top faces selected and then we can use those to just whoops, control E to extrude these out as you can see right here and then we'll have less rigid lines once this is smooth as well so I'm just keep extruding along my blueprint the hotkey for extruding again in case you don't know is control E and as well as that you can always go to edit mesh extrude um, if you want to do that if your keyboard isn't working or something so there's that so I'm just gonna keep extruding these do, do, do. Alright, gonna keep going. And we're almost there. Almost. And. Alright, we're at the top now. So, as you can see, we have the main top part of our bell so far and it looks pretty good. If I were to preview the smooth as you can see we'll get rid of the lines that we have like that but we're not at the smoothing process yet so let's go back down here and let's finish this bottom-ish part. I'm just going to do that same thing and select all those faces shift select all of those that way just those bottom ones are selected so I can just extrude along those faces and then for this thing right here I'm actually going to um, just not go deeper than I could and just leave it like that. That way um, it will be easier to add edge loops later, as you'll see in a second. So I'm going to just keep going like this. And then again for that thing right there, I'm just going to do a smaller one even though I can go farther. And then we can just keep going and finish off the bell. Okay, so if I take a look that looks pretty cool. Can preview our smooth just by pressing three. By the way, sorry, forgot to mention that. But now um, I'm going to select my multi-cut tool or go to the modeling toolkit and just click multi-cut. And I'm going to hold down Control to do a quick edge loop. So we can do one there and there. Actually, I want that to be it's not as big as the other one. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm going to select these faces. And then I'm just going to extrude those out just a little bit. Okay, so now if you look at that, as you can see, we have those line things that are showing in a lot of these. So, you know, those lines. But now we need to make, so for example, if, if I were to smooth this, it takes away a lot of the lines, and I don't really want that. So I'm going to select my multi-cut tool again to just do fast edge loops. I'm just going to put one at the bottom. This will help hold the structure as well. 
So I'm going to add one at the top of both of these and as well on the bottom. Again, I'm just holding down control and clicking. So for example, now if I were to smooth this, keep a lot more of the shape and those curves are a lot more noticeable. So I'm also going to disable this grid because it's really annoying. And let's see what else we have to do. That looks pretty good. So now we're going to do the thing at the bottom. So I'm going to select this um, vertice there and we'll just bevel that. You, oh, you can also bevel by going to Edit Mesh and Bevel, which is one of these, that one right there. Or you can um, chamfer it. But um, you can also chamfer it by going to Edit Mesh, Chamfer. Okay, so I'm going to extrude this out to, let's see, try and look at some bells. doesn't look like it, the exterior is too thick, but um, something like that. And then I'm going to extrude this in. Okay, I'm just going to go like that. Kind of hard to see these lines, but what I'm trying to do is make it so that there's a wall and it'll go inside. So you'll see in a second once a lot more of this has been created. I'm just going to keep going up here. going to need to do another thing after this, so let's say it'll go all the way up to there. That way our bell is hollow, as you can see. So I'm going to just go back into object mode, and if I were to smooth this, that top part has all those weird things which would kind of mess up your textures. So what you can do is you can select this face, and you can poke it by going to Edit Mesh Poke, and then I can just go back into object mode, and bam, they are almost gone actually. What I can do is, let's see, I can select that for to see, bevel it, Select that face, extrude that out to like there, and then poke it once more. Doo -doo, and now, they're gone. Okay, so we have a pretty nice looking clean bell. So I think, um, I think we're going to smooth it now. So I'm going to go to Mesh, Smooth, and then I'm going to divide it by like another. Um, you don't have to do that, by the way. Um, because if you want to have it low poly for like a game or something and you're not using this for like rendering then of course you don't want it to be 13,000 polygons but I'm going to smooth that again and I like how smooth that is okay so I guess we could also do that top part um, that is in a lot of these bells so um, let's see we have this I'm also going to turn on shaded um, wireframe so that I can see that without having to click on that and I'm going to create another cylinder. And I'm just going to have this up, and then it looks like it's going to select like those top faces again, just like what I did before. Make sure nothing else was selected, and then I'm going to make this dome top. Simple extrusions. Okay. So now if I press 5 to get out of wireframe mode, if I smooth this, you can see it doesn't keep the shape. So I'm going to add another up there, and it's kind of hard to see again, I'm sorry. There. Okay, press 5. Now if that's smooth, it looks better. Um, so I'm going to go to Mesh, Smooth, and bam. I have that bell. That's pretty much it. You could model the inside if you want to. It's pretty simple to do that, but um, that's it basically. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.